Are you looking on how to name your company? My name is James and I am one of the Brand Lance naming experts. At Brand Lance, we offer naming help and also we sell ready-made brand name ideas. In an era where sales and revenue are driven by brand identity, coming up with a good business name is a top priority. Sure, let's concede that the process sounds simple enough. After all, how hard can it be? But the fact of the matter is that naming your company is one of the most agonizing and frustrating tasks you will ever undertake in your career. We have brought you some tips that can help you speed up the process and make up your mind. 5 Best Practices to Name Your Company 1. It is more than just a name. It is a feeling. Let's go back to business school. What's in a name? A feeling, a message, a purpose, and many things more. Consumers can interpret your brand in so many different ways. You need to convey a positive message about your services in a word or two. For instance, Timely Movers conveys that your moving business never misses a deadline. Most of the people who are moving to a different city want the process to be done without delays. So that's how you address an issue that predominant while conveying your brand's USP at the same time through a name. 2. Sit down with your team for brainstorming sessions. As soon as you have a brief idea of what your business name should convey, it is time for you and your team to put on your creativity hats. Let's get something straight. Names that sound too generic are always a turnoff. It is also important to not rush this process. Agree upon a constant. Your company name should have words that address your industry or audience while exhibiting your unique value proposition at the same time. Once you have a good set of prospective names, cross-check and verify their availability online. You would definitely not want to have a web address that spells differently. 3. Strive to keep it short and simple. What is a name worth if people can't remember it? Word-of-mouth marketing is still the best form of marketing, and if your customers can't recall your brand name or have difficulty in pronouncing it, how are they ever going to discuss your company? The idea is to diversify and simplify at the same time. For example, look at Tesla. It is a short and simple name, but conveys innovation, science, and cutting-edge technology. If this step becomes too tedious, try studying some successful brands and investigate how they came up with their names. 4. Avoid enigmatic or ambiguous words. Words that are too enigmatic can cost a lot of money. The only way to push your uncanny brand names into the market is by pumping in loads of cash into your marketing strategy. For most companies, that won't be an option. Unless you have a vision and a plan in place that could justify obscure brand names, avoid them at all costs. Some names might sound cool without conveying much meaning. There are always better alternatives to these. 5. Field test. Let's say that after a week's worth of hard work, you have zeroed in on what you and your management think is a great name. Don't settle. Your team's opinion does matter, but always push for an outside opinion. Here's a fun fact. Approximately 77% of all consumers make purchases based on a brand name. That is how decisive a name can be to the future of your company. The power of a brand can't be underestimated, and every second you invest in the creation of an ideal name is well worth it. If you are having problems with coming up with a great company name for your new business, then we can help you with that. Just contact us on our website, brandlance.com, and we will help you with business naming suggestions. We can also help you with logo design, marketing, and website development. Also, if you would like to learn more about how to build brand authority, then subscribe to this channel.